Hello and welcome to Iraqi Dinar News, your trusted source for the latest updates on the Iraqi Dinar. Today is May 24th, 2024, and we have some important news regarding the exchange rates of the Iraqi Dinar against the US dollar. In today's video, we will discuss the slight fluctuations in Baghdad and the stable rates in Erbil. We will also delve into the broader implications for the economy and the much-discussed topic of the potential revaluation, RV, of the Iraqi dinar. So, let's get started. Our news comes directly from the Shafak News Agency, which reported early this morning that the U.S. dollar exchange rates edged higher in Baghdad while remaining stable in Erbil. Specifically, with the opening of the al Kifa and al Harithia central stock exchanges, the dollar price recorded 145,750 Iraqi dinars per $100. Meanwhile, in the exchange shops in Baghdad, the selling price stood at 146,750 IQD, and the buying price was at 144,750 IQD per $100. In contrast, Herbal's market showed stability, with the selling price at 145,700 IQD and the buying price at 145,400 IQD per $100. This contrast between the slight increase in Baghdad and the stability in Herbal is noteworthy and reflects differing economic conditions and market reactions within the country. So, what does this mean for the average Iraqi citizen and the broader economy? These exchange rates impact everything from the cost of imported goods to the purchasing power of the average consumer. A higher exchange rate can mean more expensive imports, which can drive up the cost of living. Conversely, a stable or lower exchange rate can help keep prices in check and maintain consumer purchasing power. Now, let's turn our attention to the topic that's on everyone's mind, the potential revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, often referred to as the RV. The concept of an RV has been a topic of much speculation and debate among economists, investors, and the general public. Revaluation refers to a significant upward adjustment in the value of a currency relative to other currencies. Proponents of an RV argue that it could bring significant economic benefits to Iraq. A stronger dinar would increase the purchasing power of Iraqi citizens, reduce the cost of imports, and potentially attract foreign investment. It could also boost national pride and confidence in the Iraqi economy. However, there are also significant challenges and risks associated with an RV. For one, the current economic and political instability in Iraq poses a major hurdle. The government would need to ensure that the revaluation is backed by strong economic fundamentals, such as robust foreign reserves, low inflation, and a stable political environment. Without these, an RV could lead to economic chaos rather than prosperity. Additionally, there are concerns about the impact of an RV on Iraq's oil-dependent economy. Oil revenues are a major source of income for Iraq, and any significant change in the exchange rate could affect the country's budget and spending plans. Policymakers would need to carefully consider how to manage these impacts to avoid negative consequences. In conclusion, while the idea of an Iraqi dinar revaluation is enticing and could offer numerous benefits, it is not without its challenges and risks. The slight increase in exchange rates in Baghdad and the stability in Erbil are small pieces of a much larger economic puzzle. For now, it remains crucial for Iraqi policymakers to focus on building a stable and resilient economy that can support any future currency revaluation. Thank you for watching Iraqi Dinar News. Stay tuned for more updates and in depth analysis on the Iraqi Dinar and other economic developments in Iraq. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay informed and take care.